next common button over is Profiles. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I've saved myself a Sean profile. If you want to save yourself a profile, all you'll do is select Save a Profile As. You'll enter a new profile name and select OK. This allows you to come back to your software at any point in the future and have your profile exactly as you want to use it. This is especially handy if you have maybe yourself or a spouse or yourself and a son or daughter trading and each of you has a different charting setup that you like to look at. The next button over is the market watch bar and this is where again all of your currency pairs are listed. You can select it or deselect it simply that quick. Your data window, your navigator which is right here. So again these simple buttons allow you to add and remove quickly. The terminal which is down here along the bottom. Maybe you want more charting room and you want to remove the terminal for just a minute and you can add it right back. Your strategy tester which is something we'll get into in a more advanced set in the near future. Placing a new order. Now this is important if you want to place a trade maybe you see something going on or an opportunity you can select a new order window and this will pull up the order window where you can place trades. Meta Editor and Expert Advisors. This again is a little more advanced, something we will not be going to into this tutorial, but it does allow you to add additional functionality to MetaTrader. Now the next three buttons over are quite important because it allows you to change between bar charts, candlestick charts, and line charts. We'll keep ourselves here at candlestick charts. Uh, maybe I wanted to change this one right here to a line chart and I can do so easily or right back to a candlestick chart. The next two buttons allow us to zoom in and out on what we're looking at. Let's expand the euro here and you'll see exactly what I mean. Maybe we'd like to see more of a certain section. We can select the zoom in button and you'll notice it'll take us in quite a bit closer and you'll see this by the candlesticks looking quite a bit larger. If we want to zoom out, we can do so. And this allows us to see more of the big picture. We'll select the Restore button to go back to all four charts. The next two buttons allow us to either auto scroll or to chart shift. Let's go back to full screen for a second to explain chart shifting. Chart shifting will give us an additional space in front of the last candlestick. We'll do this if we want to have some room to draw out additional indicators or tools into the future to do some planning. The next button over allows us to quickly add any of the indicators and oscillators available in MetaTrader. Next box over allows us to change the time periods we're looking at. Let's say we want to look at a daily, we simply press daily. And it changes our charting picture to a euro versus US dollar on a daily time frame and you can see that here in the top left corner. Perhaps you'd like to look at something a little quicker, maybe 15 minute time frame. We'll select 15 minutes and you'll see now it shows euro versus US dollar at 15 minute time frames. Typically for active or day trading we look at shorter time frames and for longer term trading we look at longer time frames. Good traders use a combination of both. In the final tab along the top are our common buttons is templates and this is a, this is another handy section which I really enjoy I think you will too it allows you to save a particular setup and then be able to go back to it each time now before the tutorial I went ahead and created a set of white charts with green and red candles now if you've come from trading with different tools this may be what you're more used to looking at so let's go ahead and select that now you can see now that the main screen for euro versus US dollar is now white and completely different with green and red candles. If we select the restore button what you'll notice is that only this chart changes. 
the other three charts have stayed on black and white charts. If I wanted to change perhaps the British pound versus US dollar, I would highlight it, select the template button, and go to white and red candles. To go back, we'll go back to the black setting. Very simple and easy to customize your charting. When using one full screen in MetaTrader 4, you can actually scroll quickly backwards and forwards between the four charts that you have selected. You can do that along the tab here, just below your charts. You can select the Euro, the US dollar, the British pound, or the US dollar versus Japanese yen. And again, there's lots of room here. You could have five or 10 different currencies selected out if that's what you decide to look at. Let's say you wanted to add another chart. An easy way to do that is to go to your market watch bar, select the currency, let's choose US dollar versus Canadian, and then right click and add new chart window. Now you'll notice that it comes up in a pattern we may not be used to. We can simply go back to our templates window, select black, and it's exactly the way we want to see it. And now we can scroll between the five different currencies. To remove this currency, the US dollar versus Canadian, we simply right click and select close. Very, very simple in MetaTrader 4. Let's look at some of the customizations we can do to the charting section. And you'll notice some of the features here in the third row from the left hand side at the top. We can use a cursor when scrolling through our charting. We can also select crosshairs. And I'll select crosshairs now, and you'll notice that you can see a crosshair scrolling over your charting. You can also add lines. Now you can add vertical lines, horizontal lines, or trend lines to your chart. Let's drop in a horizontal line. And let's say we want to drop it in right here. All we'll do is left click one more time to add it in and this horizontal line will stay here. To adjust the horizontal line, or any of these three lines, we'll want to double click on the line, and you'll notice that the line will now be highlighted. To remove a line, let's say we put it in the wrong place, we'll simply right click and select delete to re-add one, or we can simply grab the line and move it up and down. To lock the line in place, we'll want to double click it again. Let's say we want to delete this line. We'll double click one more time and then select right click with our mouse and remove it. Let's practice now by adding a trend line. We simply pick the point where we'd like to drop the bottom of the trend line in and we hold the button down. We'll get to the top where we'd like to set our trend line in and let go of the button. Now to make changes to the trend line, maybe we want to move it around, we'll simply double click the trend line and we can move it wherever we like. If we'd like to delete the trend line, we simply right click on the line and select delete. MetaTrader 4 also allows us to add in channels and Fibonacci retracements right from this control bar. Let's add a Fibonacci now. We'll simply left click at the point where we want to add the Fibonacci and be sure to hold the button down and let's bring the Fibonacci level up and we'll let go of the left click and that will hold the Fibonacci in place. Now to readjust the Fibonacci, we'll want to double click on the line. And this will allow us to move the tool around again. If we want to remove the Fibonacci, all we're going to do is right click and select delete. 